This has been some That's poker good. game yeah. so far. Not a very good game, Jesse, so far. Yeah. Sorry, learned it on it. Thank you. Well, I'm not so really off the club. The Northern Irishman, not well known before last year's main event, but 1.2 million for a 12th, announced his arrival and has also put the pressure on. There is pressure on, they're expecting you to be a really good player, but I can play the game okay, but without the wee bit of luck, you're in trouble, do you know what I mean? But there is, there is a certain amount of theory and all that, I, I have all that. Not say down to a T, but fairly well tuned in, but it's a case of, if you're not feeling lucky, you, you know, you're not going to do any good. But at the minute I feel, I feel very lucky, I think. And I, have a wee, I put a wee bit of extra pressure on myself and I feel good when I'm under pressure. I like being put under pressure, so that's, that's what I like about the game. Yeah, Scott's big blind now. Yeah, and Gregory, uh, I guess the player at the table right now who's going to get hurt most by these blinds coming around. It's only 6,000 around. And Gregory will know he Pass. has time to wait. But probably no more than 10 or Pass. 12 hands. Yeah, I see. All right, a dozen hands. I don't think he'll wait that long, though, do you? Pass. No. Perso from the button. Chip leader by a long shot. Call. Bit of a change of pace. Yeah, and it, it's nice to ch chop and change it around. To 12 total. Raise announced from late. Raise 12 total. With the ace queen and Fenton. <coughs> was looking very hard at Clive. And, uh, oh. Yeah, and he's got Ace Jack. This is just a call here, Jesse. Call. Quick decision, but the right one. Yeah. These guys have all got a bit of each other's cards well, here. He, he'll think he's got a bit of value now. He might as well call. He's taking a deep breach here. I, I think Clive's kind of committed to this pot right now. Do you fancy? Oh, he's, he's passed, oh, Nick. Yes. So he wasn't thinking about a re-raise, though. No. Oh, no, definitely <laughs> not a re-raise, but you never know. Uh, I think if his cards were more matching, he would have had a call there, just for the value. Here's the flop. Fenton does not want to see the ace. This he can probably get away from. Depends how Clive plays it, I guess. Yeah, um, I don't think any of us are going to try and guess how he's going to play this. 12. 17. 17 to call. Sorry. Oh, that's, right. that's right, yeah. This is a trap for Fenton. He can only win with a jack right yeah. now, mm -hmm. split with a king. He's going to have to make a big decision here. He's looked at Clive and Clive's right, looked right. the other way. <laughs> 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 Some people would call that a tell. Um, <laughs> he didn't want to give anything away there, did he? <laughs> Clive has pretended to be interested in the door. <laughs> you think Scott's good enough to work this one out? Well, it's a bit of a scary flop. I know he's got second pair and the ace kicker, but it's still a scary flop, ain't it? About 17,000. He doesn't need to get involved with, with the amount of chips he's got. No, I mean, things are going pretty well for Fenton right now, aren't they? Yeah. And this is how they could quickly go badly. If he calls here, it'll be a John McGill move. <laughs> well, he's probably thinking he can afford a call. Yeah. Not only that, he, he very well may get a free card on the turn. Yeah. Fold up shop. Yes. Yeah, he's passed. Okay, Jim. The hand is over and it's only begun. Okay. Will Clive tell him what he had? I don't know, but it was a good pass from Scott. Oh, yeah. Poker character and live wire, Clive. He's certainly not shy in front of the cameras. There's a lot of uh, personal focus on you. And also, you're being what every step of the way you're being watched and analysed. But I think when you get out there in front of the cameras, you you tend not to be too bothered about it, and you have to get on with it. At this level, once you've had two hours exposure and you're back, you've had your television time. So if you get killed after five minutes, it's not the end of the world. 
If I'm playing in a £10 tournament, I play the tournament as though it was a £100 or £200 tournament. So I still go for it. I play my A game all the time. These players want to go all the way to make it to the final. Will they be celebrating tonight or looking back with regrets? Join us for more action after the break. Oh, mas! Híjole! Welcome back to the PartyPoker.com European Open 3. John McGill came 12th place in the World Series. Can he beat these pros? He's got a lot to live up to and he's feeling the pressure. We head back over to the table. Nick Perso, <laughs> so far out in front, six-handed, that uh, it's almost an embarrassment of riches for him right now. Yeah, he's still 90,000 in front. Um, and like we saw just now, he raised with one ace just to keep his toe in the water again. Um, pinched a few blinds, picks near enough same hand up again, but but um, pelts it. You know, he, he knows how to play this. And, uh, the guy that really needs to win a pot right now is Dave Gregory, of course. Yeah, he's, he's down to 40k now. The first confidence. Oh, here comes uh, the first confidence, if nothing all. Gregory. Uh, He's actually had two big hands and lost them both without getting to see the other player's cards. Raised 14. He's raised this up, this other. Oh, oh Jez has got yeah. a big hand here. Yeah. I, I, I feel like this might be the end of Dave Gregory. Just for, for, his, might, um, for his table image, uh, Ian, how, how can he pass to a re -raise? I'm still here. Hmm. Yeah, John McGill's reminding him he's still here. He don't want to be paying too oh. much for his cards. And he's talked Jez into just a call there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, now he's picked up Ace Queen. <laughs> he's thinking it's so, What did I open my mouth for? Yeah, well, if, geez, if, if McGill tries a squeeze play here, uh, Bailey's going to smother him. Yeah. He's smiling for. I don't know where I asked for him. You know, I'd play it. I mean, there's very few people, Ian, who would have called with Bailey's hand in this position. Mm. Yeah, you're right, Jesse. <laughs> You're right. Why did he do it? Well, I don't know. Cut the side. You see, he, he's, he's not frightened to put his chips yeah. in, is he? So it, it can't be anything to do with that. He's probably begging yeah. that um, John's going to put a raise in here. It's 14,000 bet. It's 10,000 to call. Three And uh, you're lucky. Dave Gregory's raised it. He must be sitting here thinking, what? Do you know what I mean? What oh, have I got to do here? Yeah. But if they all wind up in the pot together here, he... Um, he's not in that bad shape, no, he's not. <clears throat> it would be nearly psychic if McGill can just call here, I guess. Uh, he's going to go all in, Jesse. Yeah, What's he's... the cat doing? Cat's sitting on top. Man. I think you're right. Jess Bailey covers John he's McGill. Well, he'll yeah. yeah. well, yeah. definitely I, I get a call from, from Jess, won't he? He might get a call from Dave Gregory, who, who can virtually triple up here. I mean, oh, the other two, the other on the end, they'll be rubbing their hands here. They'll be thinking, please, God, two players go out in one hand. Yeah, geez, geez this is nearly could be over. Yeah. I mean, Gregory's only got 26,000 there. Uh, he'll have a chance to win 120 or thereabouts, depending on what Jez Bailey does. I think he'd be putting these in, Dave. I think he'd be giving up the tournament if he didn't. I mean... Yeah, what's he got left? 26. Of course, um, just wonder, I mean, if you think about it from Dave Gregory, I mean, d does McGill have to have a very strong hand to do what he did? Something like that. Well, oh, he's, pa he's passed it. Pass. One cut. He might have I even, he might have even put down the winning hand here, yeah. Dave. 80 now. I yeah. thought it was about 72. Mm. Yeah. 0.845671 <laughs> recurring. You know, we've, we've seen a lot of mind-boggling plays, but this trap that Jez Bailey has set Seven. with the ace king might be the biggest of them all because it was Which just so one? unorthodox. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Dave Gregory could be thinking that um, John McGill's only made this move because Jez Bailey's flat called in between and he's doing it for the odds. So th that was how I was thinking Dave could probably call this back. It, it takes a very strange play to trap a great player, and I, I think Jeff Bailey has done it. When you're on, um, What's he thinking?